Swimming definitely is my refuge for sure. It's something that I can always lay back on, fall back to and know that, all right, this is my world. This is my place to be and no one else can take that away from me. As Singapore's first Olympic champion, Joseph Schooling needs no introduction. While everyone is familiar with his exploits in the pool, there is another side to Singapore's golden boy. After completing his studies in the United States in 2018, Schooling announced that he was turning pro after his last collegiate swim. That meant striking the right balance between his training and commercial commitments. It's key in an athlete's life, and I think balance is also one of the hardest things to attain for a professional athlete. You only see professional athletes when they're playing their game, when they're doing what they do best. You don't see the other side of things that 99% of the time that they're doing. And the only time that you do realize that is when you're going it through yourself. Like how hard it'd be balancing commitments, for example, like in the social life, in your commercial life, and also in the pool. The 24-year-old currently has eight major sponsors, including Hugo Boss, Yakult, and Toyota. All my sponsors are phenomenal through the roof. You get to go to things that maybe everyone else can't do. You get to see a bunch of different things also behind the scenes, a lot of things you get to collaborate with brands that you once looked up to and just basically getting an opportunity that not very many people uh, can have. While being a professional athlete has its perks, schooling appreciates the solitude in the water. I think over the past few years, I've actually enjoyed practicing more because I've gotten more matured. It gives me an opportunity to see what really makes me tick. It gives me a chance to understand myself in a way that only swimming, only putting me through the hardest sets can bring out of me. And also, I think the older I get, that excites me a bit more. You know, when you're young, yeah, you're hot-tempered, everything, you got that flair, but you kind of go up about things in a less efficient way. So when you're older and you've more experienced, it's actually fun. It's like a chess game, really. You can't work on everything in the world, but you've identified the points, what works for you and what doesn't work for you, and you figure out how to get better. For a competitor like schooling, victory breeds pressure. Even though he reached the pinnacle of an Olympic gold medal in 2016, the butterfly specialist still has to deal with the pressure to succeed even more. I think the hardest thing would be dealing with expectations besides your own. When you become Olympic champion, everyone puts you on a pedestal. Everyone thinks that you're supposed to be this way and that way. Even though I swim breaststroke, I'm pretty sure people expect me to win breaststroke also which is fine. It's nice having people keep you accountable. The whys is the most important thing for an athlete, I believe. The whys give you motivation. The whys get you out of bed in the morning. And as long as you have the right whys and the right people around you, pressure shouldn't really be a factor. The only pressure that factors in is pressure from yourself. At the end of it all, a professional athlete must put everything aside and continue to deliver in his or her chosen field. I think there are two different parts to um, being a professional. You know, obviously one side is the commercial side of things, the way people see you, but the other side of things, it's also putting your sport or your primary focus ahead of any single thing. I think being a professional athlete gives you the platform and the opportunity to inspire a lot of people. But to me also in addition, it means being a role model means being the best version I can be in the pool. For schooling, getting one's motivation right is key before choosing the life of a pro. A lot of people want to become pro athletes why? because they see the 1% of all the zas and you know these privileges and perks. So my advice to a budding professional athlete would be do it for the right reasons. You're doing this because your mother told you so? You're doing this because you have outside pressure? Are you doing this because you want to do it? If the reason is because you want to do it and you want to see how good you can get, then my advice would be go all in, man. Do it for the right reasons and never look back.